Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a, a pretty important question that I've been wondering for years actually. And I, I was thinking, how can I ask it without somebody getting offended? But uh, I don't think that's actually possible. It's a question that can make you feel uncomfortable if you're a Muslim, but I think it's a fair question because I really want to understand and have an answer because I don't get it. And the question is, when it comes to images of Prophet Muhammad, how come in many cases there's such a negative response from Muslims about the images? And I mean, it's sometimes I notice it's to the point where people will wish that somebody's life will end because they made pictures or drew pictures of Prophet Muhammad and uh, released it in a publication. That I don't understand fully. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what I do understand. So I do understand the, the devotion that Muslims show to Prophet Muhammad, that he was uh, a great man, the greatest man that ever lived, according to Muslim. And him being a prophet of God, that right there shows that he was of an elevated status, somebody who got direct revelation from God and shared it with humanity. You know, he was somebody who built a nation, you know, he, he conquered territories. He, he was somebody that was known to be truthful and honest and hardworking and faithful and practical. Somebody who was helpful in society, somebody who was bold, strong, but at the same time compassionate and very, very, very loving. So there's many different positive aspects to Prophet Muhammad and him being a prophet, the final prophet sent to humanity. I understand the Muslim devotion to the things that he shared, the way that he lived and how Muslims really try to emulate living life like Prophet Muhammad in their daily lives. So I fully get that. I fully understand that. And I've come to appreciate that about Muslims, their their devotion to their not just love for God, but also love for their prophet as well. What I don't fully get still, though, is images for sure. You know, that's not something that Islam teaches, but not everybody on the planet is Muslim and not everybody believes that same thing and not everybody understands that. So when somebody who's clearly not Muslim produces an image that, of course, it's not Prophet Muhammad because nobody knows exactly what he looked like. There's no photographs or any um, images of him during the time he was alive. So if somebody does, it's obviously our, our representation. So it's not necessarily him. And sometimes people do it in respectful way. Other times they do it to poke fun. So I, I sort of understand that nobody likes to be made fun of or nobody likes to have their religion and their beliefs made fun of. But, you know, at the same time, people make fun of people all the time. People make insults all the time. And I know it's not what Islam teaches. Islam doesn't teach, oh, if somebody insults a prophet or makes an image, then go out and end their life. I know that's not what Islam teaches. I'm speaking to specifically the Muslims who think that something like that would be justified. Somebody's life ending because an image of Prophet Muhammad was released. Yeah, I, I, I really, I'm finding it hard to sort of understand and grip the the concept you know of where that would come from that that type of negative pushback would come from i'm a person who you know i i love my family dearly i love my wife dearly and there's people that yell insults and uh, make comments all the time do i like it no sometimes i push back of course many times it, it just falls on deaf ears i don't hear i don't see it you know uh, and, and being on social media all the time, of course, there's a 99.99% good, but there's that 0.01% uh, of bad and negative uh, energy and negative comments that come my way. So I understand, you know, not everybody's gonna be positive, not everybody's gonna be uh, supportive of what I do and insults are gonna come. It's just inevitable, it's just a part of life that I've come to accept. And as much as I don't like it, I couldn't never in my brain think that somebody's life should end because of that. I just want to understand like where 
that sort of anger comes from? Like what is fueling that? What is behind a person that would do that? Because for me, in my view of things, you know, an, an image of somebody is far different than somebody's life being lost. And I, I notice it around when it comes specifically to Prophet Muhammad, but I don't necessarily notice that type of zeal and passion when it comes to images about other prophets. So it could be that, you know, Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. So of course he's, he's seen on another level, but you know, there's various images that represent Jesus, uh, Moses, Abraham. There's so many other prophets, their, their images are, are out there, but it's not necessarily that same charge when people see images of those prophets versus when it's about Prophet Muhammad. And now, yes, I do understand that there are people out there with bad intentions. They want to insult Muslims. They want to insult Islam. They want to, you know, tear it down and really provoke Muslims. For sure, I understand that is there. And knowing also that Islam doesn't condone this type of behavior towards people who insult Prophet Muhammad or insult Islam, I still want to know like where that actually comes from. That backlash when someone sees an image of Prophet Muhammad. This is something that's come up in uh, discussions that I've had on several occasions and I, I just don't fully understand guys. So uh, I really want to come on here and just really just share, share that with you and uh, ask, you know, if you have different understandings about this. Am I seeing things differently? I don't think I am. I think I'm looking at this pretty balanced because I'm sure everybody would agree that an image is nowhere near as valuable as a person's life. And also understanding that not everybody shares the same belief. Not everybody has the same regard for prophets or Prophet Muhammad or religion. Aren't they free to express that as well? Because I'm someone who's all for freedom of speech and uh, I think that opinions and statements, even if you don't necessarily agree with them, should be expressed. And there's certain extent to that, but for the most part, I believe various different ideas should be expressed because then we can have conversations about them like this. So I really hope that this is what it inspires, a conversation about this topic that I, I still am trying to wrap my brain around. So I hope I didn't offend anybody and just wanna know your thoughts and comments down below. Thanks for hanging out with me in another episode, guys. Stay tuned for more videos where I'm going to share some of my thoughts, some of what I'm learning. I'll be posing questions like this as well as posting other reaction videos where I react to topics that you send me on Instagram. As a matter of fact, if you aren't following me on Instagram, the best way to do so is clicking the link below the video description section and uh, follow me over there. And then you can shoot me a DM with all your recommendations of videos you want to see my reaction to. All right, guys, until next time, see you soon.